this is a video about my homemade gold lab uh, I got this idea from a guy who makes these professionally and of course his is done up professionally mine's homemade but it it works alright I'm happy with it uh, yeah he saw one of my videos on this and he left me a a message uh, go look at some of my videos you'll find it anyway um, let me explain this to you a little bit I don't know exactly where to start um, I actually I uh, I bring all my concentrates home in a five gallon bucket here they are here's some here <clears throat> when I'm out dredging or uh, using the sluice box I bring it all home I don't pan anything and then uh, I take this one here and I'll dip in and I'll anyway I'll shake that out and it'll be nothing but the bigger rocks left in there and I'll shake them I'll shake it up into these classifiers I've got three of them here uh, different meshes see now one's a 30 and one's a 50 and one's a, a hundred and I'll shake it all through and I'll get different sizes of uh, sand there, there's a the bigger the finer stuff and then the finer yet under there <clears throat> and then the very fine stuff's in the bottom and the reason I do that is because uh, if I've got real fine gold which I deal with a lot of fine gold where I live uh, the bigger stuff will knock the gold the smaller gold out so I'll run different grits of it and uh, and then then the rocks just to make sure I don't miss anything on the nuggets with this thing when I'm first uh, getting it all screened out I'll go back through the rocks with my uh, metal detector my pen pointer this is a, a pistol probe works really well and so I will, that's how I check the rocks for any gold nuggets that might have got through and then uh, the uh, hopper I made this out of was just a funnel I got from Walmart and then I, right beside the funnel were some spouts and uh, I adapted the spout to the funnel and then uh, I cut the spout down there's some treads on it where you can cut it down and then I uh, adapted one of these uh, New Yorker caps is what they call them I had to get the right size and uh, so then uh, I've uh, hooked everything here the pumps the the uh, vibrators that I've got on here they all are 12 volts so I've put in a converter it's back there I don't know if we can it's kind of dark and that runs all my 12 volt stuff here and then I've put in a I've put in a light that I can pull down and with a magnifier on it and then I can really get in there and look close and then uh, let me see what else here we got here so the way this works is uh, I've got an let me see if I can find them here I went and I picked up a an old vibrating chair and uh, I took the the vibrators out of it there they are there was I don't know five or six of them they're 12 volt just a mess anyway I took those vibrators there's one right there there's another one out and um, I put them put one on the bowl right here's one then I put one on the hopper right here's one and uh, the one on the hopper keeps the uh, material flowing real well down into the blue bowl and uh, the one that I've got on the blue bowl actually helps to settle the gold down it uh, keeps keeps everything vibrating the lighter stuff goes out and the gold gets settled down 
So uh, let me see if I can get this turned on. And well, first let me tell you, I hard plumb this. It's kind of like the guy did on his professional when I put in uh, valves. There's the valve for the main pump, and then I put in a, a drip valve. That's how I, you can control the uh, uh, the flow of the material, so you don't get it going too fast or too slow. You can control that drip. And that was easy to hook up. Let me give you a shot of that. And then, uh, then it all runs down into the uh, reservoir. And when uh, the blue bowl is working up here, the water's coming out down here. And then I've got it set up into a sluice box. So that if I miss anything up there, I'll catch it here in the sluice box. And then it all is recirculating. I'm going to pause this here and get this set up and show you how it works when it's running. Well, not so sure I could do that. Go ahead and Yeah, I kind of got it going again here. You can see that the material is dripping out of the tip, working well. And uh, I want to get this to be a little. I got to get this adjusted in the beginning here. I'll take it down a little bit, get a little too high. Then I've got this hopper set right up against the bowl so it gets the vibration. I, I haven't <coughs> turned the vibrator on on the hopper. I, I really don't need it right at this point, but uh, this vibrator is running. And uh, so it's vibrating the bowl. And then uh, turn that down just a hair. And now it's uh, running underneath, getting into the loose box. If I miss anything up there, I'll catch it here. And you'd be surprised how much I catch in this loose box. And then, you know, if I want to do it again, it's all being caught again down here in the... There's a bucket. I don't know if you can see it in this... sitting inside this uh, reservoir here. And so all the sand is going into the bucket, and then the water is just overflowing the bucket back into the reservoir. And there's my drip system. I never pan anything. This valve actually had just a connector. It was a ball valve, but I've cut the ball out of it and just using it for a connector. Then of course the snuffer bottles snuffer up the gold. And then uh, every once in a while you want to poof that stuff out in the bowl and this is what I use this turkey baster for that. Well, that's the homemade gold lab.